Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will continue to learn about Sublime Text. To be more specific, we will take a look at a feature named the Command Palette. Let's dive right in. So the Command Palette is opened by holding Command Shift P. Or if you're on Windows, that's Control Shift P. So this menu in front of us is called the Command Palette. And it essentially places every action that Sublime Text is capable of at our fingertips, just a few keystrokes away. So for example, let me paste in a bit of text. I had a cat and dog that were good friends. Now let's imagine that I wanted to highlight the meat and potato part of the sentence and switch this to be all uppercase. So without the command palette, I might do something like going to edit and then convert case and then click uppercase. But we can perform that same action very quickly only with our keyboard if we make use of the command palette. So let me undo that and let's try it the command palette way. So I've still got this text selected. Command shift P or on PC that's control shift P. We pulled open the command prompt. Let's just begin typing convert case. So all I typed in was con and it already pulled up these options. We can use our arrow keys to select the uppercase option. Hit enter and there you go. Now, personally, I don't find myself switching text to uppercase that often. That was just a proof of concept for the command palette. Let's try something a bit more useful. Let me paste in a bit of new code. Here are the five weekdays, and let's imagine that we wanted to reverse their order. So we wanted it to be Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Let's select these, open the command palette, start to type in reverse, permute lines reverse. Let's hit enter on that. There you go. Or let's imagine that we want to order these days alphabetically. Command shift P for the command palette. Sort. Yes, let's use this first sort lines option. And they are sorted alphabetically. Let's move on to a new example. So back to this sentence about the cat and the dog. You will notice that we are using HTML. We have HTML elements, but this sentence has characters that are not HTML safe. So we have this ampersand symbol, the double quotes, so what we can do is select this, open up the command palette, begin to type encode, and there's a command named encode special characters for HTML. So let's hit that. It automatically converts the quotes and the ampersands, and we're very happy. Now, obviously we are using HTML in this document, but we don't see any color syntax highlighting going on. That's because currently the document is set to plain text, not HTML. So we can see this in the bottom right hand corner of the window. Now I could simply click on this and then choose HTML in the menu that pops up, but I'm not in a mouse click mood, I'm in a keyboard mood. So let's use the command palette. Set syntax and we can see every language that my version of Sublime Text currently supports. We want HTML. So let's click enter on that. Hooray. Now I don't want to bore you by showing you all of the command palette commands. That would be a huge waste of time. Just know that you can do most things through the command palette. And I realized that the examples we saw in this lesson aren't very riveting. They aren't very impressive. And to be honest, this lesson is primarily just a segue into our much more exciting next lesson. One of the greatest strengths of Sublime Text is extensibility. And in our next lesson, we will learn how to use the command palette to install community created add-ons. This is just a fair warning that the next lesson will blow your mind and you most likely will fall in love with Sublime Text. It should be a lot of fun. I will see you then. The lesson you just watched is a part of my web development workflow course. The course covers Sublime Text, SAS Architecture and Organization, Git, Grunt, Bower, and more. And we use all of this to build a modern website together. The lessons that are about a single tool will be available for free on YouTube. And the lessons where we really sink our teeth into something or see how two or three tools are coming together or maybe write a bit of custom CSS or JavaScript together will be part of the premium course. If you want to be notified when the premium course is released, you can sign up via the description for this video. Or if you're watching this video in the future, the course has been released and you can find a heavily discounted coupon code in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.